Zotero is free open source citation management software that you can use to organize your research and format your citations. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to make a Zotero account and sync your library, plus some of Zotero's other online features. You don't need to create an account to use Zotero, but there are a few reasons why you might want to do so. First, you'll be able to sync your account to Zotero's site. This is a handy backup if you ever lose your laptop or experience a computer malfunction, and it lets you share a single Zotero library between multiple computers. Second, it allows you to invite collaborators to work on a project with you. You'll be able to create a library that's shared between you and the other researchers on your project. It's easy to register for a free account. After registering, go to Edit, Settings, then Sync to set up how your Zotero library will sync with your web library. You can choose which libraries you want to sync. You can choose Sync Automatically if you want your online Zotero account to automatically sync with changes you make on your desktop version. If you have a very large library, you might want to uncheck this because of the time syncing takes. And you can choose whether you want to sync full text content. In other words, do you want your online Zotero account to let you search the full text of your PDF files? With your Zotero account, you get a small amount of free storage. If you have a smaller library, this should be enough to sync full text content and not worry about storage space. If you have a very large library, you might want to leave this unchecked. We can also choose whether to sync attachment files. Again, whether you want this will depend on how much storage space you have and how much storage space you need, but you might want to check the box to sync attachment files in group libraries. That way you can make sure that you will be able to share your PDFs with your collaborators. Syncing my Zotero library means that I can visit my library on the web from any computer. But what's really useful about Zotero's web features is the ability to make a group for collaboration. First, go to Groups and then create a new group. Your group will need a name, and then you'll need to choose Privacy Settings. For most situations, it makes the most sense to make a private group. Now you can invite other members to your group by typing in their email addresses. They will also need to create a Zotero account. This way, they'll be able to view the citations and the articles in the group. You can even highlight and annotate your PDFs so that your group members can see your highlights and your annotations. If you need extra help with Zotero, you can chat with a librarian, email us, or schedule an appointment to meet with a librarian in person or virtually to help with your research needs. Until next time, happy searching!